Hello, my name is Lloyd Gant, and today I'm here to talk to you about drawing. So I do a lot of drawing myself, and uh, not only on paper, but also digitally, and I've worked on a few comic books and done a few gallery shows, and just want to show you that uh, I'm from Franklin, Kentucky, born and raised here, and that if I can do it, so can you. So what we're going to start with is a circle, and there's a lot of different ways you can make a circle. You can use something round, like... We had these when I was a kid. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but uh, we used to listen to music on that. But you take something that's round and you just take a pencil and go all the way around it. So you got a circle. There's other tools you can use. Uh, if you have geometry class yet, you might know about a compass. and They're kind of fun, but we're not going to use that today. So make one more circle over here. And so today what we're going to be drawing is emojis, kind of like on your phone. So one thing I really like about drawing is, you know, you can say a lot with the drawing. It's not, you know, you don't have to just say things with words. You can say things with pictures and you can tell about how you feel. And this will be perfect. Like if you draw an emoji of how you're feeling. So we're going to start with this. This is the basic head. So we know the eyes will be somewhere around in here. And we're just going to freehand those in. And you don't have to be perfect because this is all just a rough design anyway. We're going to do some stuff to it and clean it up before it's over with. So, personally, I'm very happy today to be teaching you guys how to do this. And hopefully you're happy to be learning it as well. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to get a little paint on our brush. Let's see. First you go to your water. You want to make sure you have plenty of paper towels because painting is very messy. So, my granddad always said if you a real painter, you'll get paint all over you. So, but don't do that at school. Don't get paint on your teacher's desk. Or, yeah, so. All right. Let's see. We're gonna get that little brushed off, and then we're gonna color in. Like I said, you don't have to be perfect, because you know you're just playing around anyway. You're having fun. Sometimes when you're having fun, you'll get the best results. All right, so we're gonna let that one dry for just a second. We're gonna move right over to this guy. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different just because it doesn't have to be the normal emojis that you always see. And personally, I like spirals. So I'm gonna put a spiral there and that's gonna be his eye. And over here, I'm gonna do a triangle for an eye with a circle in the middle. Why? Because I can, it's fun. I'm gonna even give it a little nose and then we're gonna come down here, do the top lip, give it a round cheek. We're gonna give it a little bottom mouth too, and a tongue. And then right here, we're gonna color it all in. And when we paint it, you'll see what it's gonna look like. So, stop for that first. So, last time we used our brush, we were using the yellow. And so, as you can see, it's still got a little yellow on it. What we wanna do is try to clean that off. So, you dip it down into the water, just get a little wet, and then bring it over here and dab it, dab it, dab it. And it's still kind of going to kind of look yellow, but I think the most of the paint is out of it. So. All right, so now we're going to get another color. Just put a little water in there with it and watch it as it just comes to life in there. You got some paint. Oh, yeah. Dump it over here. All right, we're going to paint this guy this color. And like I said, just have fun with it, you know. You ain't got to be holding your brush a certain way, or there's no real rule to art, except making something that never was there before. All right, a little more water, and as you can see, it just kind of blends it all over. All right, come right over here. You can get a little bit of red mixed with the purple because it's going to be right there with it. Look a little rosy red cheek on there. This side too. All right. Well, how's our yellow guy doing? Is he dry? He's getting there. So now earlier when I was drawing it, I forgot to mention this right here would, is representative of where his cheeks would be. And this is the crooked wavy smile of a nervous person on the video. So I'll try to like tighten that up a little bit. 
You can always draw over your paints. Then you can always paint over your drawings. Just keep on doing it. So we're going to put a pupil in there, just like you're a pupil at your school. This is a pupil in your eye. So, all right. Now, go back over to our brush a little bit. And I kind of still like the colors there. I'm going to give him a little rosy cheeks too. If I can get some of this. All right. A little nose. But... All right. So, I'm going to let him dry for a minute. All right. Now we're waiting for those two to dry. We're just going to go ahead and make one more because why not? I got all this stuff out and why stop now? So, go ahead and get her compact disc out or any other thing you want to use a circle you can actually use the top of a cup use a paint roll and what I like to do is when I've got water on the table I use my paint roll as a cup holder so it doesn't spill over so easily <laughs> and so now hmm what do I want to make this one so many options especially if we look on our phone because I know you look at your phone all day and I know you use these but I don't know. I'm feeling a little crazy again. So I think I'm going to make an almond shaped here and an almond shaped here. And a little line for a mouth. Then right here, right here will be the sides of his head. And now another swirly in the middle because he's thinking. So I don't know if you can tell what it is yet, but it's one of my favorite topics. It's uh, going to be a little alien, guys. We're going to get some of this. We're going to get a little more paint. And the good, cool thing about watercolors, a little bit goes a long way. Because I've just got a little bit out here. And it's probably more than I'll need. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix some white and some black. We're going to try to get a gray color. And what's really cool, if you learn the color, the color wheel, that will uh, you'll know a lot about how to mix colors using the colors you have, the colors you might not have. So, it's going to be a little gray alien. Let's see. A little more water to activate it to make it come to life. Yeah, there we go. Happy little aliens. <laughs> By the time this guy starts to dry, the others should be ready to do our next step. Let's do one little color over here. All right. So we're going to go back to our other two faces. And so, yeah, it's pretty dry. So our next step, we're going to take a Sharpie marker. We want a pretty good sharp tip on it. We're going to put our circle back down where it was originally and try to line those lines back up. Then we're going to take this marker and we're going to go around the edges. Go around it one more time, make that line nice and bold. All right. There, so now we're gonna come back over here. The lines over our original pencil lines, color it in a little bit. We're gonna put that bottom lip dimple right there, up here, around the eyes, color in that, color in that. And then, just take your pencil, and you should be able to erase. I mean, not pencil, but an eraser. And you can erase those pencil lines. Clean it up a little. And then, since it's dry, and if you have them around, you can always use color pencils or markers to accentuate or highlight certain details in this so let's see yeah we're gonna these markers are kind of cool they've got 
flat tip. So we're gonna go, just go back around that a little bit. Make his nose a little broader. And so, bring some more of those pencil lines. <clears throat> All right, so now if you can see, I got a little yellow in there and his, the white of his eye, which it could, I could go with it, make it look like a bottom eyelid, but I'm gonna take a little of the white paint. Let's come over and try to get rid of that a little bit. And if you notice, there's a lot of different brushes and each brush has a different tip and there's a use for every one of these. So for this next part, I'm gonna use a finer tip brush. It's for a little bit of detail. I'm gonna get some of this white again back over and I'm just gonna put a little glare in the middle of his eye and a little glare on the bottom of his lip there over here a little bit just a little just something to add a little more to it you know bring it to life a little bit more when you're doing yours you can do anything you want like that it's your picture and if you don't like it or if you love it, you can always make another one. As long as you keep your templates or keep your compass or however you want to make your circle. Or you don't even have to make a circle. You could do a square head. This is just a fun idea. So I'm going to go over to this guy. So, all right, he's pretty dry. So last time for this one, I used a different circle. Use this. So let's find our Sharpie. And we're gonna do the same thing. Go all the way around. And all right. So now he's got his outline. Take that same Sharpie and start doing the same things. But I'm gonna do this one a little different. So you'll notice I'm not gonna do the spiral just yet. And sometimes one way this is called inking so applying the pencils at first is just called penciling and then you come back over and this step is always called inking so when you're inking you can always add a little bit more if you want you don't have to stick to the original pencil lines those were just the idea and now you're making it the drawing so color this in around his nose all right do this eye all right so the reason I didn't want to do the spiral with the black is because I'm going to use a red color just to add some interest to it just give it a little better sometimes my Markers might not work so good, so I always try to test them on a separate sheet of paper before I start going to the drawing. All right, and we're going to color his tongue. And so, yeah, it's a little weird, but people say I'm a little weird, so I like it. Here we go. So this guy, he's still a little bit wet, so we can still work on him though. We're, we're just going to work on the dry parts. We're going to come over here and I'm going to do the inside stuff before I go back over the circle. There's really, there's certain steps you got to do in order, but other things you can go as, as at your own pace. So. All right, and then we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna do his spiral in blue. And that's kind of cool looking. So I think he's dry enough now. I think this time I'm gonna do his circle in blue. And if it's not perfect, don't 
fret, don't throw your paper away because this is all practice anyway. You're always just practicing for the next thing you're going to work on. So there you go, cut a blue circle now. In fact, there's some little lines right there. I might come around and fill it in a little bit. And I always rotate my drawings around in circles when I'm working on it. And people tell me I hold my pencil funny, but you know, people say a lot of things. So. <laughs> All right. In fact, we're going to do his eyes blue also. But this time, I'm going to leave the white there for the glare instead of painting it in. And there's your alien emoji. So. So, I know they're not as cool as the ones on your phone, probably, but it was cool making them, and that's the whole point of art. It's spending the time to make something. So, once you're finished with something, it's always good to sign it. And so, over the years, I've signed my thing, my signature in different ways. Uh, because I'm Lloyd Gant the Third, sometimes I would do my initials. I'd do L, G, and then three. And that was a little trademark for a while. And then I just would also sign it like I would sign my signature on anything else. And then maybe I'd put the year 2021. Oh man, that's sci fi, if you ask me. So the one I currently use looks a little like this. And then 21. So there you go. So I hope you guys have fun making it. Uh, I know I had fun telling you about it. So, all right. So I used the same methods when I drew all of this. I drew it all in pencil first, and then I just came back over with the ink pen. And I didn't color it because the colors would later be done digitally if I decided to color it. But these are pages from my comic book, and this is the actual printed version of it. So we add the words later. But yeah, that's a lot of fun. And this is a children's book that I've worked on. And uh, it's pretty cool, but it's for the younger kids. I'm sure, I'm sure you wouldn't be interested. <laughs> Back here is another piece that I did. I actually painted this originally on the computer, and then I printed it off, and I decoupaged it to a block of wood. And then after I decoupaged it, I added a little more paints here and there just to add highlights or just change it up a little bit more just to brighten it up. And then I glazed it, so it looks like a actual painting that you can, you can I've set it up put these on the back so you can hang it on your wall and same process with this one but the reason I worked on this one was uh, I was working with a group of people online and we wanted to try to uh, propose making a comic book out of the video game Castlevania so this is one of the prototypes for that but I'm always drawing and I started just like you sitting at my desk doing these little fun things with the teacher and it was my favorite part of class so Hope it's your favorite, and I uh, hope to see you next time.